Hey everybody, in this video I'm going to create a uh, crystal report in Visual Studio 2012. Um, it's a good good example here. So uh, let's move right along here. Let's open up a new project and we want just a Windows Forms application. It's just something simple for right now. And let's call this uh, CR1 for Crystal Reports 1. And you'll notice we've uh, got our standard uh, Windows uh, application here. I'm going to uh, right click on my project and go to add a new item and go down here in my list to reporting and there's my crystal reports and I'm going to call this user email. And you'll see that our uh, we're, we're prompted with our wizard here. I'm going to just keep the defaults. We're going to use the uh, report wizard and we're going to just use a standard template there, okay? And here we're going to go look in the uh, connections. You'll have to already establish a connection to your database so that the uh, wizard can, can pull it. We're going to look at the person list uh, uh, tables here and we're going to look for person and emails. That's right. So we just bring those over here into our selected tables. Click Next. And you'll notice that we've got our uh, everything linked on the business entity ID, which is fine, because all we want to do is just pull in the email address for each uh, person. So click Next again. And of the fields here, I think all we want is uh, the email address. And in the person, we want the first name and the last name. And let's move this down. So it's person, last name, and email address. OK, group by. Let's group by the last name so that we have a way to uh, just kind of uh, group the people together and I'm not going to do any additional grouping so I'll just click next again. I'm not going to do any filtering. Here, here's where you could go ahead and say I want only the people whose last name is Adams for example or something like that so we, we don't need to do that here. It's, it's a report and we're going to leave it with the standard style and click finish. Okay and here's our uh, database fields and everything is already uh, pushed out into the report uh, looks fine just the way it is. Uh, I want to just point out here under references that we've got uh, Crystal's Report Engine, uh, Crystal's uh, Report Source, and Crystal's Decisions. Uh, these are all uh, DLLs that are pulled into the project here. And uh, here's our report, user email report. <clears throat> but what's missing here? Well, we don't have any way to view it. So what we want to do is uh, Let's enlarge our window here a little bit. And let's go into reporting in our toolbox and open it up. And we want to drag a crystal report viewer in here. That's good, just the way it is. And then come over here to our properties window. And we want to scroll down to report source here. and find our uh, user email report okay and you'll notice it pre-populates with a bunch of nonsense uh, but it gives you an idea what what is it going to look like it's going to look like this all right so um, looks good so far so far so good at this point here we actually uh, actually can run it so let's go ahead and do that and there you have it I'm gonna blow this up here um, Here's our list of emails. Uh, first, la last name, first name, email address. Okay, and if and on the left here, there's a selection pane. So let's say I wanted everybody uh, that was named um, Cox. I can get them all grouped together, and uh, actually, it's, it's almost like a little menu-driven thing here, like a hyperlink. French. Got one person named French here. But that's it. 
that's it. Now you can make a complicated report uh, depending on your uh, SQL query. Uh, you can put a, 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 do a very uh, elaborate procedure and uh, sort of procedure and put it in there and access that. Um, so it's up to you. But this is a, a, all there is to it. Here's your first crystal report through uh, Visual Studio 2012. Thanks for watching.